Well, we've got soggy conditions, snowy conditions in our mountains. Live view from Little Cottonwood Canyon where traffic is slow going. Look at all that snow on the road. Tough to travel. This is near White Pine. And we know that they've been doing avalanche mitigation up the Cottonwood Canyons throughout the day because we have received heavy, wet snow. Avalanche danger spiking to high for the Ogden, Salt Lake, and Provo area, matching the south and southeastern portion of the state, which jumped yesterday. An avalanche warning was issued for the southern mountains, but expanded today to include the central mountains, Wasatch Mountains south of I-80, the western Uintas, and the Wasatch Plateau. Natural and human trigger avalanches are occurring in the backcountry. It's not a safe place to be this hold until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Look at Bryce Canyon with all the snow. Speaking of the southern mountains, they actually broke a snow record today at Bryce, which is pretty nice, 15.5 inches, blowing that half a foot out of the water from back in 1998. So record-breaking snow, and we saw that record-breaking rain in Salt Lake County. So we take that live view from Lehigh, you can see some slushy, fresh snow on the ground, on the grassy areas and on the roofs of the homes. We did see that snow level dip and some valleys mixed in with the snow, the level about 45 to 5,000 feet. But other locations like here at the ABC4 studios stayed straight rain. Either way, it was sloppy out there throughout the day, Looking at some of those totals, 4.7 for the upper elevations of the Bountiful Bench, 3.8 for the higher elevations in Salt Lake, 2 in Syracuse, 1.5 in Hiram, and up towards Bear Lake picked up an inch. Now, we did see plenty of precipitation, and we have for the last several days. This has been a two-part storm system, which kept us active Monday and then again last night into today. As we zoom in, you're able to see... A little bit of moisture holding on in the south, but we're getting a tiny bit of a breather. It doesn't last for long. Jumping up to northern Utah, we've got snow in the mountains. We're starting to dry in the valleys and along the Wasatch Front. We do have some mixed precipitation on I-15 near Nephi as well as west of Nephi. So I'm sure places like Mona getting some soggy conditions and over in the west desert south of I-80. As we step back and go big picture, I want to show you the upper level low that dragged that cold front through the Beehive State today. This is significant because it's also the storm system that brought in that atmospheric river event to California. It has tracked inland through the Great Basin and is headed east. It did bring that front, which brought more of a westerly flow with enhanced precipitation this evening in Salt Lake. And as we look down south, it kept that precip going as it moves over to the east. It will clear, but cooler air moved in as a result. 44 for the high today. That's 10 degrees cooler than where we topped out yesterday in Salt Lake. 40s and 50s on the eastern side of the state. 48 in St. George. Next several hours will be in the 30s, and we're going to see that wet weather dwindling with mostly cloudy skies for the overnight in northern Utah. But don't be fooled. We don't quiet completely. Forewarned Futurecast shows you that exiting front some showers behind it by 10 p.m. in central Utah and in the southwestern corner of the state. As we head into early tomorrow morning, watch that plume of wet weather head into the southwestern Utah, and we bring in some showers, maybe for the morning commute along the Wasatch Front, but really for southern Utah and the central portion of the state. It continues through about lunchtime, tracks to the east, eastern Utah gets in on the action, and we see how those isolated showers through the afternoon and evening will be out there for the Wasatch Front, a little more active in central and southern Utah into early Friday morning. We're watching as that moisture in the trough slides east, and we do get scattered showers on Friday as well. So as I said, periods of precipitation, friends. We're not drying out just yet. Here's a look at what to expect as we get through tonight. We're going to see more snow for the high country through the close of our work week. We're not finished, but we've already seen plenty and we need the moisture. We'll take it. 30s and 40s for highs tomorrow. 50 in Moab, 43 in St. George. Wet weather on deck with a little more scattered shower activity as opposed to consistent moisture. St. George seven day shows rain. Isolated showers by Friday. Starting to dry as we head into Saturday. Higher terrain will stay isolated. Temperatures running below average in the 40s. Speaking of below average, well, we drop to the 30s on Friday and stay there for the weekend. That's going to feel chilly, especially since yesterday. We were in the 50s. Isolated showers hold on for the Wasatch Front. It has been a wild, wet ride this week, and we are not closing it out just yet. Staying active.